So you find a major support or resistance level on a market, and you know that a big move will happen, but you aren't sure if the market will reject the level or will break through. In this video, I will reveal one of the most powerful signals, price action based, which will help you to anticipate the future direction of the market. And if you want to show your support, please leave a like to help us with YouTube algorithm and turn on the bell so you don't miss when new videos are released. This trading strategy involves a combination of two candlestick patterns, the pin bar and the inside bar. You know both patterns most likely, but have you tried them together? Most novice traders make their mistakes when they treat a single candlestick pattern as a trading signal. It's essential to understand that candlestick patterns have little value if we don't see them in the right price action context. Patterns alone usually don't have enough power to reverse the trend of the market. That's why combining candlestick patterns around certain levels is a good practice and one of the keys to a successful trading strategy. The first component of the system is the pin bar. A pin bar is a single candlestick that has a long tail and a small body. To qualify as a pin bar, the open and close must be situated at one end of the bar's range and the tail of the bar must make up at least two thirds of the bar's range. The general rule of thumb is, the longer the tail, the weak, the more powerful the pin bar signal. The pin bar will help you to identify potential reversals in the market. When pin bars form, it's a good sign the market is ready to move in the opposite direction. Now considering the rejection principle of pin bars, we can use them to capture potential tops and bottoms to price movements, to identify breakout traps that can lead to powerful price reversal moves and to position ourselves into trending moves at good prices. You can see why pin bars are very powerful candlestick signals and coupled with the right money management plan, you can capture decent profits on a consistent basis. The second component of the strategy is the inside bar. The inside bar is a two candle formation with the second candle's entire range located inside the previous candle's range. The high and low of the second candle must completely fit within the range of the previous candle. This is a valid inside bar. If the high or the low stick out from one of the ends of the first candle, it's not considered an inside bar. The inside bar formation is not technically a direct signal, it's what we call a consolidation phase. This is because during the entire period the candle was open, the market didn't make any real ground in terms of movement. However, they can also form at market turning points and act as a reversal signal from key support or resistance levels. Inside bars can be traded in trending markets in the direction of the trend. When traded this way, they are typically referred to as an inside bar breakout pattern. Inside bars can also be traded counter trend, typically from key chart levels. When traded this way, they are often referred to as inside bar reversals. On their own, inside bars offer many full signals, but in combination with a pin bar, you will discover a powerful trading setup, which is also low risk and has a high reward potential. So these two formations are the basis for our trading strategy. A pin bar is a price action pattern that shows rejection of price and indicates a potential reversal is imminent. And the inside bar is a price action pattern showing consolidation and that a potential breakout is imminent. These two signals, when combined, result in a pin bar inside bar combo that offers unique entry points in different stages of the market. The pin bar and the inside bar combo consists of a pin bar that contains a small inside bar. So how to trade the pin bar and the inside bar combo? When looking for the pin bar inside bar combo pattern, the first step is to identify the pin bar. If you see a pin bar immediately followed by an inside bar that's contained within the high to low range of the bar, then you have the pin bar and the inside bar combo pattern. This combo is very powerful and it's an ideal setup to trade on higher timeframes, either from pullbacks to key levels, or as breakout plays in trending markets. In this example, we can see a pin bar inside bar combo that formed after a pullback to a support level in an upward trending market. These types of combo patterns are very effective because they give you the chance to get a better entry on the pin bar and allows you to get a narrow stop loss, either below the pin bar or below the key support level. When you see a pin bar followed by an inside bar or even multiple inside bars, it's time to take notice 
because you might have a potential trade entry on your hands. You simply drag a rectangle containing the pin bar and the inside bar and you trade the breakout of that area, ideally in the direction of the main trend. Here's another example of the pin bar and the inside bar combo. This time, it's more of a reversal pattern because it formed at a resistance level, causing a false break of that resistance level and then set off a move to the downside. This combo pattern again allowed us to get a small stop loss by entering at the breakout of the pin bar, with the stop loss placed just above the pin bar. We can see a dramatic sell-off unfolded as the price broke down below the pattern. This combination forms quite often across all time frames, but that doesn't mean that all pin bars followed by an inside bar are ideal trading signals. If you traded every single setup, you would most likely end up losing money. So it's very important to narrow down the signals that have a higher probability of working out in your favor. Very important, the pin bar inside the bar combo gives a stronger signal if it's formed on a higher time frame and if it appears near support or resistance level, static or dynamic. So let's take several scenarios. The first one is near support or resistance breakout. Combining the pin bar inside bar combo with the breakout of support or resistance, you exponentially improve your chances for a successful trade. The odds are in your favor simply because you found the point of confluence in the market. If you backtest pin bars and inside bars after breakouts, you will notice they continuously produce consistent responses from the market. A bullish pin bar followed by an inside bar, which forms at an important support level, is signaling that higher prices are likely to develop in the near term. Here's an example. The chart starts with a bullish price move, which ends with a breakout below this upward trend line. After the breakout, a support area turned into potential resistance, we found a bearish pin bar with a longer wave which confirms the bearish momentum. So we first had the trend line breakout, the first bearish sign, and then the confirmation of the bearish momentum with the pin bar. The next candle which comes after the pin bar is an inside bar. This creates our combo, and based on recent price action, we expect a move to the downside. Being a valid bearish combo, you sell below the pin bar. You place your stop loss right above the longer week of the pattern, or above the previous swing high, or even above the broken trend line. Take profit is minimum two times the amount risked. Here's another trade. The first thing you want to do is to identify the support and resistance levels on the chart. Remember that a pin bar inside bar setup is valid if it has confluence. That's why always look for additional levels on the chart once you've spotted a potential setup. This example starts with a bearish trend. At the breakout of the downward trend line, the price action creates a bullish pin bar. A valid tradable bullish pin bar because it's located at the end of the bearish trend and has a visible large lower candle wick. The next candle was an inside bar, so this revealed a nice opportunity for a long position. Entry above the breakout of the pin bar inside bar area with a stop loss below the wick of the pin bar or below a previous swing low.
The pin bar inside bar combo works well in combination with moving averages, as dynamic support and resistance levels in trending markets. We call it dynamic because it's not like your traditional horizontal support and resistance lines. They are constantly changing depending on recent price action. There are many traders out there who look at the most common moving averages, the 50, 100 or 200 as key areas and will buy when the price dips and touches the moving average or sell if the price rises and touches the moving average. In this example, we can see what it looks like to trade a pin bar inside bar pattern in line with a trending market. In this case, it was an uptrending market with a price above the 200 EMA. When price corrected and reached the 200 EMA area, it formed a swing low and after the next candles, we found a pin bar followed by an inside bar, a good opportunity for a long entry. Also, the market formed a double bottom around the 200 EMA, another confluence factor. We entered long after the price broke the high of the pin bar, stop loss below the low of the pin bar or below the 200 EMA, and minimum 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. This chart shows another example of a good inside bar combo. This time, the trend was down or bearish, being traded below the 50 exponential moving average. The pin bar inside bar combo functioned here as a continuation pattern in a trending market, a continuation pattern that implies the trend will continue moving in its existing direction. Observe the major sell-off that took place once price broke down below the low of the pin bar, again stop loss above the pin bar and the 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. If you want to go one step further and you trade with Fibonacci levels, the pin bar inside bar combo is again very effective to find sniper entries at the end of corrections. Here's Tesla on the 4 hour time frame with a Fibonacci retracement placed on this downswing. And look where the pin bar inside bar formed, right at this key Fib level. In this case, we are trading a reversal signal from a key level of resistance the 61.8 FIB level. This was a perfect signal with a long week rejecting the level, something you want to see at a major level. The fact that we had other rejections of the level in the past was also a good thing. This tells me that there is selling pressure at this particular FIB level and the buyers are unable to push price higher. The entry below the low of the pin bar and when trading FIBs, it's advised to take profits as the price reaches the next retracement levels. In this case, at the 38.2 level, you must close at least 50% of your position, because most likely there are multiple orders around this area. In this example, we can see a 50% retrace in the Dow Jones. A 50% retracement and the pin bar inside bar signal both came together at one common point and showed us a nice setup here. And what you should take away from this example is that it was also in line with the general direction of the market. Notice that prior to the pullback, we saw a nice rally up, and the pullback didn't exceed the 50% area, rather it rejected it strongly and has then bounced aggressively higher to new recent highs. I hope it's clear that when you look for the pin bar inside the bar signal, if it matches up the supporting factors, meaning the confluence, these signals tend to make better trades. These obvious price action setups at major FIB levels can lead to huge moves, especially on higher timeframes. Learning how to identify and trade them can give you a very powerful trading system.
As always, if you got any value from this and learned something new, drop a like to help us with YouTube algorithm and make sure you click the bell icon to stay in touch when your videos are released. Until next time.